want an entrance to your base that is not just a flight of stairs. There's nothing up there. Where's the entrance? There it is. I'll show you how to do it right now. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance, and today we are making another secret entrance. You guys who watched the lava door, which you can see up on the screen right now, theoretically there should be a link on the screen. If not, there definitely is in the description. They, you said that you wanted more secret doors. So I have given you secret stairs doors that uses extenders and double piston extenders and all kinds of fancy stuffs. Very, very simple to make though. Dead easy redstone and a really nice secret entrance to your base. Let's get on with it. What you need for this build is actually very, very little. You need 24 oak wood stairs. Could be other stairs if you wanted. I'm using oak wood because it contrasts really nicely with the stone bricks where you need 61. You need three sticky pistons, 10 redstone dust, one observer, one redstone repeater, one redstone torch, a lever and some sandstone blocks to make the inside. And that kind of is up to you how you do that. Let's get on with it. Your first step is to dig a hole that is six across, four down and three deep. So you can see you've got six blocks there, four blocks there and three blocks deep. And come inside of it and get to one of the longer sides and dig out a cube of two by two by two out on that side. Then you wanna do just fill in those two again and then create yourself an L just like that. That is really, really simple. Then get yourself an observer block. Now you may need to uh, actually re-remove this one here to be able to get your observer block to point in the right way. See the little redstone fart came out the back there as it um, was laid down. Now that redstone fart is basically gonna hard wire this block every time it shoots off with a one tick pulse. And then here, we're gonna get our first sticky piston. So that's kind of the first floor circuit. We can cover these bits up over on this side because they're gonna be kind of our steppy bit, if you like, the bit that causes us to be able to get our signal from the top down to the bottom. On this side now, we're gonna stick another block of four. We're gonna come around inside our alcove and we're gonna get our redstone repeater. Stick the redstone repeater in there put a block of redstone there, it's not a block of redstone at all, it's redstone dust, go one, two, three, get redstone one, two, and three, and then here, we're going to put one sticky piston there, one sticky piston there, and a redstone dot there. We can then block off those two with two more sandstone blocks. I'm using sandstone simply because that's what I've got for my floor. You can use whatever floor you want. It has to be a conductive block. That's what's really, really important. So you can see there, on the uh, the circuit is actually nothing particularly complicated yet and we're going to put a dot of redstone just there because we need to be able to transfer the signal from the top to the bottom and this is how we're going to basically step it down really really simply we're going to put another jot of redstone right there we're going to get all of that completely blocked off like that and then we're going to put redstone there and there. So that's how we're stepping up that redstone from there. We're then going to get ourselves a redstone torch. Now this is going to start the extension process. What you're going to see is this piston here is going to extend. This piston here is going to extend, but we're not going to get double extension. We're only going to get single extension. So if you look at that, bang, you can see this top one hasn't extended yet because there's no power in it. We're going to use a block here to hard power that which will then give us a double extension. But we're not quite ready for that yet because we still need to cover up this area here, like that. So then we can come along here and get two steps. Put one step there and one step there. And they're the steps that are gonna basically create our stair system. And then get our double extension by coming one block there and watch that for double extension bang up goes that second one because the redstone torch has hard powered this block here that has given power to the piston which has shot it back up again so when we turn this on that is going to create a not gate effect in here which turns off this redstone torch which reduces the power in that completely you get retraction from there you lose the power here which means you get retraction from there this updates here which pushes a signal into that 
bang, you get double uh, detraction and it, it works really, really well. So now all we need to do is get some steps in there and there and then another set of two steps there and there and we're going to flank those with two bits of um, I'm using stone step again you can use whatever you want I like stone step simply because it contrasts really well with this oak you can do what you want stick a lever on there that is how we're going to toggle this redstone and then obviously you've got to get yourself a little bit of redstone in there I now need to put this back in my inventory like that so as I actually have everything in the offhand. So that is really the mechanism pretty much done. What we're going to do is just going to build up those two steps like that. We're going to put a block on the end of those steps there and there. We'll get a block to the side of that and then build that up too wide. Now too wide is really important because we need to hide the redstone on this side so that then becomes too wide there and if we flick this lever you'll see we'll get the double retraction which gives us the entrance and then when we flick the lever up again we get the double extension so let's come and tidy this up around the back we must not put anything there because that breaks that redstone so lose that the redstone does not want to be broken can you see how that works that just changed that redstone line and now it's going down. If you don't do, if you do that wrong, you mess up the entire build. And you can cover the rest of the floor over like that. Now, what you do want to do here is you want to be creating yourself a corridor, and that is where you're going to be entering your base. You don't need to see this bit on this side or this bit on this side. It is not important. What you want to see is the entrance to your base, and then all you're going to do is continue building up your steps as high as you want them really. You could have them really, really high or you can just go six high. I tend to just go six high because I think that's plenty high enough for a set of steps like that. Bring your steps in there, 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 like that. And then continue that pan all the way along until you get continuous steps. get it completely straight otherwise you can't drive there we go there 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 and there and come around the back and get where's my stuff there it is and get your um, wall and continue your wall here so as there is a complete coverage of this area and it looks like a really solid double thick side to the step that's really quite imposing I personally, what did I do that for? I get rid of those, and then here and here, get rid of those as well, you don't need those. And then on this side, again, make it double thickness because it just looks more imposing when you've got a double thickness layer like that. There you go, that's perfect. And then get yourself really as high as you wanna go with this. I'm gonna have a three high corridor that comes out from that there. We're going to go out past the level of these steps and then you can come out into your base as far as you want. I'm going to just come across, block that wall off, and then you've got a really nice base entrance there. So, and all you need to do is flick your lever and then you can enter your base just like that. But Avo, there's no way to get the door closed from this side. Well, I'm telling you now, you're wrong. Now this bit is optional, so it isn't included in the inventory that I gave you, but it takes almost no additional resource. You need one block, one sticky piston, and one lever. So let's just come in here, and I'm gonna get on this block here, can you see the one I'm highlighting? Not the one next to the step, but the one past it. We're gonna get a sticky piston, facing that way. We're gonna stick a block on it, and then we're gonna stick a block behind it, and then we can fill that bit in again completely. So what happens here is if we then put a lever on there, you can see the door is open, put a lever on there, flick that lever, that extends that sticky piston, which extends the block, which cuts off this redstone. Remember I said earlier on, if you cut off this redstone, it turns it off. Well, that's exactly what the close function is. And that is now closed up there, you can see.
Flick that and it's open again. You come through, flick that and it's closed. So it is completely independent of the inside and the outside and that is a perfect door so you can protect yourself from any nasties in the secrecy of your own hidden lair. Now that is a really simple secret door that you can use anywhere in your base really. And yeah, you could say that lever makes it really, really obvious there. It does, I, I agree with you, it does. But what you could do is you could run the redstone line off to a hidden lever somewhere in a bush or something like that. So only you knew where the lever was and then that opened the door, you go through and once you're inside, you flip the other lever and away you go. It's completely closed. It is the perfect system for that and you are able to adapt it however you want. If you've enjoyed the video, please do remember to slap the like button. It'd be really good to know that you've enjoyed it. And then I can do more stuff like this in the comments below. Let me know what you think. And also, if you haven't done it already, please do make sure you hit that subscribe button. It'll be great to see you in my sub club. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.